If you're using WooCommerce and WordPress and are having trouble getting your images to be nice, crisp, and sharp, especially the product photos in the WooCommerce single product, stick around because I'm going to tell you exactly how to change this into that. To fix the blurry image issue in WooCommerce, there are two places we need to go and a tool we need to use. The first place is actually inside of WooCommerce, Settings, Products, and then Display, where we at the bottom have the product image sizes. You can set any reasonable sizes that you have here. For the single product image, we have 510 by 600. That's our own personal choice for our design. You can have anything you want and you can even enable hard crop. It's your choice. What you want to do then is make sure these images or these image sizes line up what you have in WordPress, Settings, Media, and the Image Sizes right here. That's what you're looking for. So if you click on this button, this is what you'll see. The image sizes here are more or less what's used inside of WooCommerce and WordPress for the default sizes. Many themes won't be using the size inside of WooCommerce for whatever various reasons and kind of more or less go with the media sizes based in WordPress. So what you want to do, especially for the single product photos, it's generally a medium sized photo that's used. So you want to set these numbers to be the maximum value from here. So in that case, 510 by 600, 600 being the larger number, we put 600 by 600 for the maximum heights and widths. For thumbnail size, you don't really have to worry about that too much because those are generally small. And large sizes, again, you don't have to worry about that too much because not too many large sized images are used inside WooCommerce, though full sized are, so more or less ignore large size. And after all these items are set, they're not going to magically be updated inside of WordPress and WooCommerce. What you have to do to actually create the thumbnails again and regenerate those sizes in the actual images, you have to use a plugin called Regenerate Thumbnails. This will, after you enable it and use it, will go through every single image that you have and recreate every single size version in the appropriate sizes. When we did that, that's how we got from this, which was in our stuff originally sized 300 by 300, a little mistake we made while setting this up a few months ago, and then went to this, where this image now is 600 by 600, even though this is not actually 600 by 600 here, that just means the image in here is 600 by 600 and then kind of shrunk down by the CSS, but that's another story. So that's how you do it. Remember, all you have to do is set these sizes to be reasonable sizes, and then match the numbers here, regenerate the thumbnails, and that's it. If you really enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and check out the other videos on my YouTube channel, where I talk about great things about WordPress, WooCommerce, internet marketing, growing your website, e-commerce, and all those great things. So thanks for watching.